Namaste, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I am so foolish, girl. I see the God in you. Yes. This is a timeless love reading wherever you are. Just breathe with me. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Let's get into this. We're going to see what does the person on your mind want to say to you? What are their intentions? How are they feeling about you? How, how are you feeling about them? How are they feeling about you? And then we're going to see what are their thoughts. Get some advice. It's going to be juicy. Stay tuned to the end. So what do they want to say? Ooh, okay. That's why I love to shuffle. Hold on. We're shuffling on camera. Stop playing with me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Mm. Sounds like somebody made a fool of themselves. Addictions clouded my vision. I'm trying to get my life together. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, I'm just saying, what? That really wanted to come out. So I do feel like. If you're in a place in your life where you're wanting to take someone serious, quite possibly right now, that's what they're wanting from you. I do feel like this is a past tense energy. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to get their life together. Addictions could be anything. It could be negative thinking. It doesn't necessarily have to be like any... I, I feel like drug addiction is really high in America. So if you're in America, you, you know what I'm talking about. I'm learning how to love myself. Wow, I'm, I'm about to cry because I do feel like this person, when I'm channeling this message, it's saying I'm learning how to love myself now thanks to you, but I'm hearing this person weeping as they say this to you. This person is in tears. They could have suffered from low self-esteem or they could have experienced a lot of loss in their life. So, yeah. Mm. What else do they want to say? Let's pull two more cards. I'm starting to panic. It's been so long since I've seen you or heard your voice. I can't. I don't think I can channel it for you at the same time today for some reason. Um, this person is definitely feeling overwhelmed. I'm starting to panic. It's been so long since I've seen or heard your voice. Even now, <coughs> my throat chakra. I'm like tongue twisted. I can't read. This person has a blocked throat chakra. <coughs> and I mean, honestly, they are panicking. This person could definitely have really interesting mercury placements. Could be mercury in cancer. Could be mercury in Pisces. Um... There could just be some sense of <clears throat> them panicking because they know that they need to say something. I've really never experienced it. Like, this is what real raw channeling is, guys. It, it really goes down. I couldn't even read the card. I couldn't even see. It's like this person, they're so overwhelmed by your absence. If you haven't been around them, if you haven't been speaking to them, and maybe you have been, but there is some sort of communication block where you guys are just you're not really seeing eye to eye this person is tripped up in their throat their throat chakra is blocked because of you okay well all right um i'm only staying here for my kids nothing else i'm making my way out so if this person has any other responsibilities, it doesn't necessarily have to be that they have children. It, it could be that they have other responsibilities outside of your relationship or they have to deal with certain people they don't want to deal with. I'm not making excuses. I'm just channeling the messages here, okay? They're only staying in the situation with their kids 
they're only saying nothing else, nothing else. I'm making my way out. So they could be dealing with people or some, some, for some of you, they could be dealing with a boss or a manager or someone who's like hitting on them, trying to get at them, trying to flirt with them. And it's like, they're just trying to make their bread. They're trying to create a legacy here with their kids. This is super deep. Let's move on and see what are their current intentions towards you. I can't wait to see who this is. Judgment. It could be dealing with a Libra. Their current um, intentions towards you, for some of you, this really could be getting something in paper, making some sort of legal contract with you. Um, it could lead to a marital contract. If not, you know, if, if you guys have had some sort of imbalances, they could definitely be thinking about making things right. For some of you, this could be an NDA. Okay. Mm, passion. Why everybody want to get fresh? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, this person wants to get fresh they want business and pleasure with you you know so um i don't know if that makes sense to you if you're picking up what i'm putting down their current intentions are to work hard play hard with you and seduction here they're definitely going to seduce you so this person could be selling you their dreams i cannot wait to see who this is let's get one more card they, I don't care if this is a feminine or a masculine. They could be saying things like, I don't care about how you look. I'm just attracted to like your, but they really want to seduce you. They want something from you. They want something sexual and passionate. Let's see if it leads to something solid in the end, right? Um, let's just see confusion see there you go current intentions they don't really know what they want especially if this is new if you've been with this person for a while you kind of know what was really going on with them they might want to have their cake and eat it too but i'm just going to <laughs> legitimately move forward with the spread and see what are, how do you feel about this person how do you feel about them cancer Okay, you really, uh, are you, uh, you just feel like this person is so creative. You could have known this person for a while. We got the six of cups. We also have the sun. Leo energy coming through. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Another Cancer could be Cancer Pisces Scorpio Sun Moon Rising Venus or Mercury. My, honestly you feel like you just feel so comfortable with this person even if you feel like this person is full of shit sometimes the reason i say that is because <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have the page we have the six of cups we have the sun it's like all right you're giving me this page but i still love you anyway you're not giving me what i really truly feel like i deserve but okay all right on a serious note yeah this person could stress you the fuck out cancer like they can make you feel so stressed and sometimes you feel like you want to leave them sometimes you feel like you want to stay sometimes you feel like there is this emotional or even spiritual distance could be dealing with uh, aquarius aries gemini aquarius libra let's see how they're feeling about you with the tarot i'm gonna use another deck to see if you guys are marrying each other because i am kind of getting that energy and that deck just it really felt kind of heavy so your energy could feel heavy like the weight of that deck felt heavy so there could be like really strong emotional links and spiritual links and attachments that make you feel some type of way about this person but let's just see Wow, I'm sorry. This person, they, they love you. They do. They just feel like you know how to handle them. I'm like getting super emotional. I'm not ready for this energy. This is too intense. It's so sweet and it's so beautiful. They love you. They feel like you put up with their, you deal with them no one else understands them they could definitely be mirroring your energy because there's a lot of water energy so 
definitely check into your person's sun moon rising mercury venus all right <laughs> let's see how are they feeling about you how are they feeling about you cancer you definitely got this person feeling stuck seeing a lot of swords here nine of swords eight of swords they're not sure it's like mm, what's next how are they feeling about you four they are thinking about <laughs> if i don't get my you know what um I'm gonna end up a, a lonely. I'm I'm gonna end up an, a lonely old person. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna end up tired, old, and alone without you. That's what they're thinking, Cancer. Which is kind of sad, but I'm just saying. Especially if um you haven't seen them or you haven't been around them or the communication has been off a little bit. Or this person is in some sort of spiritual recovery. They could be wanting to show you that, you know, they can be all that they can be for you. And like, I don't know. Uh, on a lighter note, on a lighter note, for some of you, this person can feel like you want commitment. I want commitment. It's about that time. Okay. The number 13 could be significant. Okay. card how do they feel how are they feeling mm. they don't like the fact that you can see them they don't like that for some of them I'm here like are you a witch like who <laughs> what listen don't take that the wrong way we do have the high priestess they feel like you're so incredibly optimistic that it's intoxicating Sometimes your positivity, your knowledge, your all-knowingness makes them feel ill, right? With this four of swords, like, can I just be better? But at the same time, they feel like you make me feel that, or you can make me see or imagine me having this broader perception. How do you even know this? Okay, you send this person on some sort of spiritual. It's your communication. It's how you talk to them. We got the Ace of Swords here. It's how you speak to them. This is actually your energy. This is the High Priestess, which is Cancer, Exhausted, and Taurus. So, yeah, could be dealing with any of those signs as long as, as well as yourself. We do have really strong Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. This person feels like you win and you're gonna win their heart or maybe you have already won their heart it's your communication it's so different and it makes them have to like match i'm hearing i i need to and i want to match your energy let's see what are their thoughts that they're, they're conscious of when they when they consciously think of you what are they consciously thinking their thoughts there what are in real time this could be something you know listen to your heart this person wants you to choose them they feel like they are a good person for you the in spite of their past addictions, in spite of their panic attacks, in spite of whatever, they want you to listen to your heart when it comes to them, okay? I meant what I said, they want you to trust them. I just wish things were different, so. person told you I'm not ready for anything serious right now but I love you and I wish like my energy was better that that person means this okay because the core of this person their higher self wants to take this leap of faith 
And they just want you to believe that what they believe about what you have is real. Like what? <laughs> I, I think that's cool. I just wish things were different. Don't let this person sell you a dream. All right. I'm not saying that you should be strung along in a situation or a connection or with a person. I just wish things were different. You are the opulent power. You are creating your reality. So you don't have to wish. All you have to do is know. All right. Maybe you need to let them know that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> There's a thumbs up right there. Okay. This person already knows you're in your full power and they need to step up and they need to match that energy. Your, their solar plexus is telling them yes. You, you could possibly really make this person incredibly nervous, like really, really nervous to the point that it's like, can you even handle that nervousness? Okay, that shaky baby feeling. Um, let's just get one more and see what else. What are their thoughts? What are they thinking? That's too many. Ooh, sometimes I wonder if you even care. Bottom of the deck. There's a number 13 again. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Sometimes I wonder if you even care. This person, I care about your life. Care about anything other than them. Like, this person feels like they want to change. They want something different. They want something new. They want to experience different things. Mm, could be dealing with a Scorpio rising. Could be any sign. Could be a Scorpio. I mean... It's like this person to you, I wouldn't even care. They could be like stone cold and it's like you're not saying anything. They want to see your rah-rah side. You know, some of them might even want to walk on the wild side with you. I'm just saying, sometimes I wonder if you would care. So, whatever that means to you. Maybe you blocking them is sort of, or not speaking to them. Some of you might have them blocked. Let's get some advice from the romance angels for you guys to take away. If you like this, don't forget to press like. It really helps me when you do that. And if you're single and you got nobody, <laughs> would you like this video? And if you're single as a single, let me know in the comments. I just want to know. But if you're watching this, I'm sure you have someone. Let me know how it goes. healing family issues, your life benefits as you forgive your parents. This person can remind you of your parents. You're definitely going through some sort of a major spiritual awakening where you just might not be in agreement. but I would say that this card kind of reminds me of Abraham Hicks teaching. You can't get there from there and you can't fight a war with a war so you got to get along with your family you got to get along with your friends um maybe don't spend too much time complaining to your partner about your family especially if it's new mm, give them their time like to kind of understand this person's really big on family so yeah just kind of be careful with that and healing family issues could be some mirroring effect that is happening between the two of you that you have in common so also don't be afraid to talk to them or share with them about your family or even introduce them to your family this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so yeah whoever you're with or this new person that's come into your life this could definitely be the one <laughs> So, yeah, I guess no more uh, looking at those other videos or looking for signs for someone new because this could be the one or you've already met them. Let me know how that goes. Until then, namaste, cancer. I'll see you in your next reading. Peace and love.